Today on this 2001 GMC Safari, we're going to be installing four pole harness, part number 18002. We're in the rear cargo area of the Safari here, and this particular vehicle has a factory installed tow package on it. The tow package is located over here on the passenger side of the vehicle inside the jack storage compartment. So if we remove the door, take a look right below the jack, you see there's a bundle of wires here, and this is our tow package. We're going to go ahead and pull it out, and then go ahead and cut back the tape. And you can see we've got plenty of lead here. This is what we're going to need to do when you want to use the harness, is to actually pull it out the rear of the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and cut back the tape to go ahead and expose our wires. With the wires exposed, you can see we've got multiple wires here, enough for a full seven pole harness. Since we're only going to be installing a four pole, we're only going to need the four primary colors, which are going to match up with the wires on our four pole here. Here we've got the white being the ground, the brown being the running light lead, green being the right turn, right brake, and yellow being the left turn, left brake. So we're just going to go ahead and wire those in color to color. The harness comes with standard scotch locks you use. I prefer using butt connectors, so I'm going to use those instead. To use those, we just want to go ahead and strip back some of the jacketing on each one of the wires. Go ahead and insert one of the wires into the butt connector. Go ahead and crimp that down. Insert the coinciding wire from the four pole and slide it into the other end and crimp that down. And that makes our connection for us. We just want to repeat that for all four wires. Okay, then we just want to go ahead and take tape up our connection points. With our wires taped up, essentially our four poles installed. Again, I want to show you real quick how to, to route the wire out. You are going to need to close the rear doors and go ahead and take and pull your harness out the top and go ahead and close the hatch on it. You want to avoid the middle latch, but the weather stripping here will prevent it from being pinched, so you don't have to worry about that. You can see I can still move it out freely. And with that, that will conclude the installation of wiring harness part number 18002 on a 2001 GMC Safari.